How to install Pixen OS on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Pixen OS on the Xiaomi Poco F1. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twerp recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also if your device is encrypted then you will have to do a format data in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. How do you know your device is encrypted or not? Well you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security privacy as you can see for me phone is not encrypted in encryption and credentials if it says over here that your phone is encrypted then you will have to do a format data once we have flashed the rom now what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and you need two files the first file you need is the pixin os zip file itself and then you need the firmware for the poco f1 and you do need the latest firmware which at the time of recording this video is 11.0.8.0 next thing we can go into settings and if i go into about phone you will see that i am running miui 11.0.8.0 based on android 10. next we'll go back go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done you'll go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account once that is done you'll go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is boot into twerp recovery for that the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device and once we've turned the device off we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo once we have booted into twerp recovery we're going to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe in case you do not get the option of wiping the vendor partition that means you're not using the correct version of twerp recovery i have linked the version of twerp recovery which i'm using in the description of the video next thing we'll click on the home button tap on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory the first file which we need to flash is the firmware file we will select the file tap on add more zips and the next file which we need to flash is the pixen os file itself so we're going to select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once both the files have flashed successfully we can scroll up a little and you can see that we have script succeeded so this is for the firmware file and then we do not have script succeeded for the rom file but we do have a message that if you're stuck at the logo do a hard reset so keep that in mind as well next up we'll tap on the home button now those of you whose device was encrypted you need to do a format data so for that we'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as I mentioned earlier, format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all those things. Those of you whose device was not encrypted or decrypted, we need not do anything because disable force encryption is baked into the ROM. So all we are going to do is tap on reboot and select system. If you get a message that no OS is installed, just swipe to reboot. And bam there it is we have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into pixen os and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient so it looks like we are stuck on the boot animation so what we're going to do is perform a reboot all you need to do is just press and hold the power button while you're still stuck at the boot animation and that is going to result in a reboot there it is once the device turns off and you see the reboot you can let go of the power button and we are on the boot animation one more time and hopefully this time around we can boot into pixen os on our poco f1 and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick 
and now that we have booted into pixel os we can go into settings and then we'll go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you can see that the android version is 10 the security patch is from june of 5th 2020 the kernel is from amog 787 and the build number is pixel os 10 and there it is peeps that is how you install pixel os on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.